Hello, and what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own piston door. It's super simple, super fun to use, and adds a little bit of flair and redstone design into your base. Now, how this design works, it has double pistons and a little bit of redstone, which I will teach you how to use later. But all you got to do is walk on these pressure plates. The door is open. And when you leave, the door is closed, so you can just run up and walk through as many times as your heart desires. Now, there are so many ways you can use this thing. So many different styles of bases and entryways that you can use. Such as a sliding glass door into the entrance of your grocery store. Or maybe even a secret entrance to your secure mountain base. I mean, look at that. Can't even tell it's there. Now, whether it be an entrance to a supermarket, an entrance to a secret base, or maybe even sliding doors of your spaceship, we're going to show you how to make these piston doors. It's super simple, super easy to use, and we're going to jump right into it. Now, all you're going to need for this project is a block of your choosing, a block that you would like the pistons to open and close, some redstone torches, some redstone dust, and four sticky pistons. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to get yourself a nice flat area or wherever you're building this, and you're going to dig two down in a three by two square like so. So you should have six blocks dug two down right next to each other. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to place redstone dust on all six of those spaces just like that. Then you're going to come over to the sides dig two down like that, two down like that, just like that. So you have a little space that looks exactly like that. Now you're going to take your redstone dust and once again place it down on the very bottom block like so. You should have a little pattern like that. Grab your redstone torch, mine that block, place the redstone torch there, mine that block, place the redstone torch there. It is as simple as that. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to grab the block that you want to use for the floor and place it above all of that except for the redstone torches. And then when you get to the redstone torches, place it right above the redstone torch, just like that, just like that, and then take redstone dust once more, place it on top of the block, on top of the block, and then take your sticky pistons, place it like so. They should both be extended, just like so. You should have something that looks like this now. Now all you gotta do is grab your uh, whatever block you'd like the pistons to move, place them in. Then all you have to do is get a stone pressure plate, plop two there, and two there. Now no matter which direction you go, it'll open and close. And now if you want to make it look nice, simply just add a little barrier over it, just like so. Just like so, you can hide all of this with different colors, different textures, like I did with the supermarket. Next thing you know, you have a really cool and awesome whoop, glass walkthrough. <laughs> you can walk through it all day long, and it will never stop working. It is the coolest, simplest, easiest redstone design I have ever made, and I really hope you like it. And uh, if you want to see more projects and stuff that you can do with this, let me know. But if not, I'll see y'all next time.